Hello Drummers and Other Creatures. In this video, we're gonna take a look at another Tony Allen groove. This time it's something that I saw on Instagram not that long ago. Uh, it's a clip of Tony Allen playing maybe in a recording studio. Uh, it's a, a room with a great sound or a really good reverb and he's playing this groove and it just sounds so good. I listen to it over and over and over again. And uh, you know, it's not often that you see an individual person just playing the drums on their own and it sounds and feels really, really great. So uh, I've learned how to play this and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I've put a link in the description box below to the original clip. Take a listen to that. Uh, I'm gonna give you my rendition now for what it's worth. Here we go. Now, how do we learn this? In this video, I'm going to look at the chunking method. Uh, and you know, whether or not you, uh, you're attracted to the drumming of Tony Allen and you wanna learn how to do this stuff, if you watch this, uh, you'll get some insight into a method that you can use for learning any pattern at all that you like. Now, what's chunking? It's not my term. I think it's a fairly common term that we use and it means grabbing individual parts of a beat and working that out and, and then putting all the, the bits together again. In other words, in this uh, instance, we're going to look at each group of four sixteenth notes from each of the quarters, the one E and R, the two E and R, three E and R, and four E and R. We're gonna explore each one of those on its own, practice it on its own, and then we're gonna stick them together. So, and it, it's a way of just kind of simplifying everything. So if you're working on these little bite-sized chunks, it, it all, each bit is quite easy to do, right? So chunk number one, one E and R. We have the hi-hat going one E and three sixteenths. One E and. The bass drum is on the one, which is coincident with the hi-hat note, and on the R, which is not coincident with the hi-hat note, like this. You can play that over and over again until that feels nice and comfortable. I strongly recommend counting as well until you're 100% clear that you're playing that accurately. One E and R. One E and R, and so on and so on. Next, the two E and R. We're gonna play the same three sixteenths. Two E and R on the hi-hat. Two E and R. Two E and R. With the snare, we're gonna be playing the and and the ah, uh, and so the and will be coincident with the hi-hat note, and the ah uh is non-coincident, it's just on its own. That's all it is. Can you manage that? I think so. Next, we've got the three E and uh, and uh, here we're introducing a left foot stroke, a hi-hat stroke if you like. You might be playing the drums the other way around, of course, but I'm gonna play the hi-hat on the three. Um, you could leave this bit out if you like. I was thinking whether I should uh, leave the, the hi-hat foot stuff out and bring it in later, but I'm gonna include it here. But when you're learning this, you could ignore it and bring it in later on once you're feeling more comfortable with the whole thing. So now the three E Anna, uh, what we're playing with the stick on the hi-hat will be three and uh, three and uh, so it's like this. Okay, and then the left foot joins in on the three like so, hi-hat foot, whichever one. So we're closing the hi, we're not producing an open hi-hat sound in this case, and then the snare comes in on the E between the hi-hats, like this. Ooh, 
and then the bass drum is on the and. Okay, three E and R. There's a little bit more work to the three Anna than the other two bits. Finally, the four Anna, we're going to be playing just two eighth notes on the hi hat, four and. Uh, the snare is going to be playing four E and R, ah, like this. No bass drum to worry about. The hi-hat is going to be in between as well, uh, the snare drum note, so that's falling on the and of four, like this. That was your hi-hat foot, obviously, I hope you can see it. Now when you listen to the groove, there's a bit of dynamics happening in the snare drum, um, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's focus on getting each one of those chunks right. Yeah, pause here, whatever, go and practice it. Um, and then when you can play each one of the chunks, we're gonna come back and, and review it. So we've got one Iana. Got the two Iana. Ooh, extra hi-hat, sorry, two Iana. That's it. Three E Anna. Uh, where is it? Here. There we go. Three E Anna. And then the four E Anna, like this. I blanked out there for a second. We've got all the four chunks. Now, let's take chunk one and chunk two and just put those together. One E Anna, two E Anna, like this. Let me try that again. One E Anna, two E Anna. And play that over and over again until that just feels like a really comfortable flow. You could either just play those two beats worth continuously. And then you can start thinking about maybe accenting the first of those two snare notes, if you like, because that sort of fits in with the groove. Then we're going to add the three E Anna. So we'll play, we'll try and just go for it. In, in most cases, you just want to kind of try and stick it on to the end of the thing that you already know. So we've got one E Anna, two E Anna, and then see if you can put the three E Anna in there. If that doesn't work straight away, we can talk about how we break that down. But let's see if I can get away with it. Ah, I did it. Okay. Now, if you find that that doesn't happen straight away, um, you could try and maybe put the two E Anna, three E Anna together first and ignore the one E Anna. So you might go something like that. And repeat that a bunch of times until it feels a little bit smoother. And then go back to the beginning and try and play one E Anna, two E Anna, three E Anna, like so. And then do that over and over again, but leave the gap of the four Rihanna there, like this. Keep playing that until your body's kind of resistance to playing all those things in sequence relaxes away and you feel like you can play that nice and fluently. Notice I'm playing it quite slowly. There is absolutely no need to try and do this any faster than you can very comfortably play for everything. So play it as slowly as I am, or even slowly, slowlier, even slower if you like. And last thing, let's see 
If we can add that for Rihanna, remember it's like this. So, here we go. I think it'll be all right because I've been practicing it, but you never know. Here we go. Finally, play it in a continuous fashion. We're gonna keep it at that nice slow tempo. If that's feeling nice and relaxed and you feel that you could just play that over and over again, you can hear the tune of the thing and it sounds like a coherent whole, try speeding it up. And I don't know, you don't have to necessarily speed up very incrementally, although you could do it, you could play it and then just gradually accelerate to a faster tempo that feels good to you. But I don't recommend making too much of a habit of allowing yourself to sort of speed up. So I would sort of practice it at the slow tempo as much as you can. When you think it feels like a bit of a doddle, then just go for faster tempo. So remembering from the clip, something like this. And there you have it, very cool Tony Allen Instagram groove. Even if you can't get that up to the tempo of the clip, if you learn how to play it slowly and steadily, it's super funky, it feels really good, and it's a way for you to start working on maybe some more complex groove patterns if you haven't done it before, or otherwise if you're used to doing this type of thing, hopefully it doesn't take you very long to learn and you can enjoy playing it. There we go, that'll do. Again, I forgot to advertise myself. I am Joe, if you're still watching this, which you're probably not. I'm a drum teacher. I'm available for lessons. If you want to ask me any questions or suggest anything or give me some feedback. Yes, I know Tony Allen has a very light touch and so on and so on. I welcome your comments in the comments section below. Meanwhile, I think it's time for you to go off and practice. <laughs>